hello friends let's talk about mongodb sequencing today so before that what is sequencing if you have knowledge of a relational database so you know that we can create an order increment field in that one and that field we can make use in in a lot of places say let's let's come to the php my admin section in mysql database and while creating a table say i want to create a users table here and this user table will have the id name email and password field and in our case what we can do with the id field we can make it primary key also and with the auto increment field we'll just check this one as auto increment field and it will automatically be created as an auto increment field so if i save uh, okay if i save this one now by the save button here this will create the user table now if you want to insert any record here so let's try to insert one record see we're not going to insert anything here okay. test user safety check email test at the rate email.com and password is save test now if we going to hit the save button see that we are not given any data in the id field so let's go ahead and save it and now browse the data see we have the field id saved as one now if we want to insert another value you will see it will be saved as uh, next id so whatever it is just give some data okay now save this one and you can see it is saved with id2 so this is the auto increment field it is increasing sequentially but in mongodb this is non-relational database we don't have any feature like this one so if you want to do this one how you can do this so let's put the mongodb now and let's see what we want to achieve so say this is our DB sequencing and here we have two tables this counter table and this is our users table so let's focus on user tables first so user table has id name email password field and see id is saved as one two three and so on it will be as an auto increment field now let's by default what it does in mongodb insert here some randomly generated number so that's not very useful and that's obviously not sequential right so we uh, if you want to do this one that approach would be create a counter table and with that table we know that our id field is the user id so we're going to increase the user id field and the sequence acq the sequential value is three so basically at the initial time it will be one and that will be assigned to the first user next it will be two so that will be assigned to the next user and then it will be three and so on so that is the approach now we can do it in manual way obviously and also we can do this one using uh, some packages so let me uh, do this one and let me first delete it so we dropped the database now let's come to the code base so this is our old code base that we have uh, used for earlier videos now here if you see we have generated a new file sequencing charges inside the config and what we'll do here we will create this schema for our counter table so it will have the id field and the sequence value so number field and id is this string now uh, we are creating the model with that one let's export that one first as a as a counter and go to our user route the um, user route where user will going to be saved so when we click on the register button if you remember from the browser here if we click on the submit button uh, it will go uh, it will go here it will uh, come to this this block add user and from here it is going to save the user uh, this is the place it is going to call the save method and this is the place we are calling the save method of mango now here in the user schema we have defined the user model uh, that we have already seen in the previous videos so here we are adding one check kind of middleware here like pre we have a method like user schema dot pre save so we are saying before save apply these procedures apply these functions so what are we doing is basically uh, first thing we are uh, getting the next sequential value so if if it's a first element so it will not have anything it will get now if it's a second one second user we are entering we will get one right so let's come to this function now this function is here and also exported here 
what this function is doing it is running a promise uh, i use promise here otherwise it will not be a good approach we may encounter callback here so in this case uh, it is calling find by id and update so the query is the id field sequence so name we're passing here this is user id this one so here finding the records in the counter table with the, uh, with the id user id field and the value is user id and increasing the sequence by one right and finally if this is available we are sending this one as a result uh, including increasing by one if it's not present it will be null and in case of error we are rejecting this one so what is happening in case of failure say in case of null when we don't have any data so it is going to this section uh, it's going to this section and here whatever doing, we are again calling the uh, another function to insert one record because we don't have any data in the user in the counter table we need to insert one so we are uh, just inserting one record in that counter table this is a simple save method with the id sequence name the user id and the value is one initial value we are inserting this one so once it is done we got the uh, response in the promise what we will do we'll ins we'll add this counter basically in the id what is the id id is the uh, object that you got from the user user input so registration from the registration form we will get all these things name email password and with that one i'm appending the id also and in this case id is not a randomly generated field it is our value one right so this is the uh, first case it will uh, insert a record in the counter table and assign the value number basically the sequence number to our uh, existing uh, payload which is coming from the ui and it will call the next method so that the save actually dot save function of mom would be can trigger so that's the process let's check this one in action so let's create an user here hit save button it's log redirect us to plugin page now go to our database and see if we have any this one created so let's come to counter see this is the user id and sequence is one so one will be assigned to the user uh, the first user so this is the first user one now let's create some uh, other users also so this one give an email Let's save and let's get another user. I forgot to check this one first. So this is the second user and ID is two. Now in counter we'll see the ID is become two here, right? So that is the process we can do this one using in manual process. But this is a lengthy process and we have package available for this one. So to do this one, what we'll do, we'll basically import the uh, mongo sequence library the mongo sequence uh, package here. So instead of doing all those things what you can do we'll just import the mongo sequence using uh, and, and, and import this one and here we have to define obviously the id is number not blank or anything and user schema dot plugin dot increment we are assigning this one now comment everything here so that's all in that case this plugin is going to take care of everything so let's have a look let's delete this database altogether okay let's restart the server hit enter and let's go to database and check whether it's was created or not it created this counter table with the object uh, with the id here and we have some id is id we have to define some data maybe let's check let's create another user now let's go to the user table again this is the two user okay this is working so the sequence has become two now so this is working correctly so using this uh, plugin we can also implement the same thing with with a minimal change from our side uh, this is the minimum configuration there are a lot of other options also we can check on this mongo sequence uh, package okay so that's all for this one uh, how to use the sequence 